Now let us solve the question number 11. The question says for which of the following inputs the output is high that is 1 and the four combinations of A and B and C are given. Dear student, there is a shortcut to solve this question as you can see here that this is an AND gate and in the AND gate the output will be 1 only if both the inputs are equal to 1 and therefore we can clearly write that at least C should be equal to 1 for giving the output high that is 1. Also the output of this gate which is an OR gate should also be equal to 1 that is A plus B should be equal to 1. This can occur if any of A or B or both of them are equal to 1. Therefore we can clearly see as per this logic that the only option that matches our criteria is option number 2 where A is 1 and B is 0 which means that the output for the first gate will be 1 and here C is also equal to 1 therefore both inputs for the AND gate is 1 and therefore the output will be 1 as well. And hence for this question the correct answer for this question is option number 2. Now let us move to the next question that is question number 12. In question 12, a short electric dipole has a dipole moment of 2.4 into 10 raised to power minus 10 coulomb meters. The electric potential due to the dipole at a point at a distance of 0.4 meter from the center of the dipole situated on a line making an angle of 60 degree with the dipole axis. And the four options are 3.25 volts, 4.55 volts, 6.75 volts and 12.50 volts. The student, the potential due to a dipole at a general point is given as P cos theta by 4 pi epsilon naught r square. Here all the values are given P to be equal to 2.4 into 10 to minus 10. Theta is given as 60 degree. 4 pi epsilon naught is something that we know that is 9 to 10 to power 9 and r is given to be equal to 0.4 meters. Now we can substitute the values. This will be equal to 2.4 into 10 raised to power minus 10 into cos 60 into 9 into 10 raised to power 9 that is 1 by 4 by epsilon naught's value divided by 0 0.4 square and this will give us a value of 6.75 volts and hence for this question the correct answer dear students is option number 3. Now let us move to the question number 13. Question 13 says a solenoid has a core of material with relative permeability 500. The windings of solenoid are insulated from the core and carry a current of 5 amperes. If the number of turns is 1000 per meter, then what is the intensity of magnetization of the core? And the four options are in front of you. Now, dear students, we must know that the intensity of magnetization, which is usually represented by a symbol I, is equal to susceptibility xi into H, that is the magnetizing field intensity. Now the susceptibility can be written as to be equal to relative permeability minus 1, so into H. Now this will be equal to 500 minus 1 and H dear students can be written to be equal to Ni. So this will be equal to 1000 that is the number of turns per unit length into 5 that is the current and this will be equal to 2.495 into 10 raised to power 6 amperes per meter and hence for this question the correct answer is option number one moving on to the question number 14 question 14 says when a diode is heavily doped and the four options are depletion region will be wide depletion region will be very thin diode material will be positively charged or avalanche voltage will be high this student this is a theoretical question and we must know that in the heavily doped pn junction diode the depletion region width reduces and therefore for this question the correct answer is clearly option number 2. Now let us solve the question number 15. In question 15 a capillary tube has a radius of 0.05 centimeters. The tube is dipped in a container filled with water. The surface tension of the water is given as 0.075 newton per meter. What is the height of water rise in the capillary due to the capillary action? The four options are 4 cm, 5 cm, 3 cm and 6 cm. The student, the height of the water in the capillary rise is given as 2s cos theta by rho g a where a is the radius of the capillary tube, theta is the contact angle, s is the surface tension and rho is the density of the liquid. We can substitute the given values. This will be 2 into 0 0.075 
for water glass interface the contact angle can be taken to be equal to 0 we divide it by 1000 that is the density of water g is 9.8 and a is 5 into 10 raised to power minus 4 this gives us a value of 0 0.03 meters or 3 centimeters and hence for this question the correct answer is option number 3 now let us solve the question number 16